Hi, this is Robin Ellsworth with Tridea Partners. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the auto report function in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Auto reports are pre configured reports within AX, which you can generate for one time use or use the auto report wizard to create a custom auto report and save it for later use. This is yet another way that Dynamics AX makes it fast and simple to access the information most important to you. Let's take a look at the auto report function within AX. I have the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 client open on my screen. For this tutorial, we will be working in the fixed assets functional area. First, navigate to the form or list page which contains the data you would like to generate a report on. I want to print a report which shows all the fixed assets belonging to the fixed asset group computers. I'm going to navigate to the fixed assets list page. To access the auto report function from the list page or form, expand the file menu, select print, and print. This opens the auto report form. Click select to filter or sort data on the report. Please refer to my tutorial video on how to filter data in a report on the Tridea Partners YouTube page for detailed steps. We want to filter the data based on fixed asset group. The table and field have already been selected, and in the criteria field, we will select the computer's fixed asset group. Then click OK to save the query and close the form. Click OK to generate the auto report. A report is generated containing only the fixed assets which belong to fixed asset group computer. This auto report can be generated for one time use, but the settings are not saved. Now let's take a look at how to create a custom report which can be saved and used repeatedly. Navigate to the form or list page which contains the data you would like to generate a report on and open the auto report form. Click Modify and select New. This opens the auto report wizard. Click Next to start the wizard. Name the report and click Next. This step allows you to select which fields will appear in the auto report. Move fields from the available fields list to the selected fields list and vice versa by selecting the field and using the arrow button. I want to generate an auto report with fixed asset number, name, location, and person responsible. So I'm going to go ahead and arrange the fields as I want them to appear on the report. And then I'm going to find the field that I want in the available fields list and add it to the selected fields list. I can also rearrange the fields by selecting the field and clicking the up or down arrows. Click the next button. You can select a report layout template or a table style template and then click next. Click finish to create and save the report. Now the newly created auto report is available in the select report field. Click select to filter or sort the data in the auto report and then click OK to generate the auto report. The auto report only contains the fields which were moved to the selected field list in the report wizard. Now your custom report is available whenever you need it. Just open the auto report form. To edit the report in the auto report wizard, select the report Click Modify and select Edit. This opens the auto report wizard and you can then change the selected fields or change the templates used in the auto report. You can also delete the report by selecting Delete and if another user has created a report that you would like to run, select Load from User, select the user and then the report and you will be able to also run the auto report created by a different user. I hope you have enjoyed this video on using the auto report function in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please check out the Tridea Partners website for additional information at trideapartners.com.
Thank you.